James Chen, everybody. <laughs> Look, it's a good thing that we didn't do something real silly on break. <laughs> this is just be like we weren't trying to like talk <laughs> just now. We're supposed to be on break, and so right. we were just like talking about you know what we're gonna talk about next and whatever, whatever we normally do. But it was on screen. Yeah. Uh, so and enjoy even, that little insight. I even just came back to the wrong screen too. Jeez. Oh, this is what happens when you're... Dude, I, I even saw... Oh, the, dude, hey, was it when we were talking about the typing thing? Did you actually type anything? Oh, I think I was doing the... Oh, maybe I accidentally hit something. So yeah. when we went off the air, um, so we were talking about touch typing, uh, right? Because uh, I just was talking about it. Right. And we're, then James was talking about typing of the dead. Mm -hmm. And then I think you actually did do some little... I might have actually I touched I, I think that's keyboard. what it was. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Oh, man. That's very <sighs> funny. That's very funny. Well, some very cool news for Killer Instinct. <laughs> Seriously, though, this is no, yeah, yeah, this yeah. is some of the cooler news to come out of, of fighting games in quite a while. Yes. Uh -huh. This is, very this impressive. is super awesome. And, and, you know, a lot of people are doing this. So we talked a little about how Mortal Kombat's trying to do this for ESL. When you buy, like, the Sub-Zero skin, it goes into this. But uh, KI... So Iron Galaxy essentially just announced that for Evolution, uh, starting April 30th. So if you're planning to buy something from for Killer Instinct, wait a couple of days. And basically starting April 30th, 100% of everything that you buy from Killer Instinct goes to a bonus pot at EVO. Up to $50,000. That's right. Up to $100,000 in the competitive scene generally. So mm -hmm. that first 50 k if I have this correctly, is going to go to EVO. Mm -hmm. After that, anything else will go to other tournaments, whatever. Yeah. I don't know what that is, but mm -hmm. they're going to spread it around in some other way. That's so big. That's so I mean, awesome, obviously, dude. just the number is yeah, crazy. Yeah. The number is crazy. But that support and that kind of support for uh, KI from Microsoft yeah. is, like, crazy good. Because um, it's not it's not like they're giving up like oh yeah we're gonna make a profit but then you know we're all, we'll make our our money back and then we'll mm -hmm. give out mm -hmm. the rest we won't make a profit all revenue yeah. <laughs> all revenue uh -huh. so that's I don't know how much money they're giving up but um, it could be a hundred thousand yeah. dollars you know it's that's a lot and it's, the, the coolest that's awesome. thing I mean like <laughs> dude you know there's so many players now who'll be like well back to KI <laughs> I, I saw tweets from people today that were very much like that yeah. Yeah, but it, it's really, really great news. Like I said, MK was doing that when they when you buy the Sub Zero skin, you part of that money goes to the ESL stuff. You know, to have them. I mean, they're all basically trying to follow the Dota model, right? So the yeah. the international, they sold some stuff for the compendium, and that turned into a million dollar prize or whatever, like over a million dollars for the international or whatever like that. So it's great to see a lot of these other companies trying to do the same kind of things, you yeah. know, um, taking these. And, and and what was it? The, what's the word on Shadow Jago here? Oh, so uh, you can buy him as a skin for now, mm -hmm. but. Uh, if they do reach that one hundred thousand dollar limit, they'll turn Shadow Jago into his own character, into like a uh, separate oh, right. character, kind of like just Fuqua a, in, yeah, in, exactly. in Skullgirls, right? Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, that's really cool. And you know what? I mean, the the, the nice thing about it is that yeah, Ki Online plays well. Right. You know what I mean? So it plays really well. So there's a lot of ways to practice it and stuff like that. If you own an Xbox One. <laughs> You're right. I mean, we're always going to come back to that at some point. But, yeah. but you know, granting that, mm -hmm. awesome. It's, yeah. it's, oh, it's yeah, so yeah. great. It's uh -huh. so great for everybody involved. It's such a good promotion for mm -hmm. Iron Galaxy, for Microsoft. Yeah, absolutely. The people involved are actual fans of competitive play. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know Iron Galaxy. A bunch of the people who work there are players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who still, uh -huh. They still compete. It's not, it's not like they used to be competitors. Like, right. they still do. Uh, so that's that's really cool and Ken Lobb was in the announcement and he talked about how he really likes the competitive scene and he watches Twitch almost every weekend he said <laughs> dude yeah. that's awesome so when you have the, I mean again we've talked about this a lot of times the US companies are doing a great job supporting their games like the Skullgirls community is doing Super, Super World Lab Zero yeah. games always does Super World Iron Galaxy stepping up here Nether Realm slash Warner Brothers doing a great job here for MK, you know, for in terms of supporting the community and stuff like that. You know, Capcom USA, Capcom USA now, Capcom doing, Europe, yeah, doing a lot of the work for that as yep. well. So it's it's really it's 
it's a good time to be a fan of fighting games right now, actually. Oh, well that, which reminds me, before I forget, I might as well just mention this now. Hmm. There's some sales on PSN right now for a lot of fighting games. So you can get Uniel for 40% off. So I believe it's like 22 or 23 or something like that mm. right now. So you can get that. Uh, Vampire Savers like 750 right now and, and such like that. So yeah, definitely take the opportunity to look on PSN. I think uh, one of the games, like maybe Ultra Street Fighter 4, might also be on sale on, on 360, but I can't remember right now. But there's definitely a fighting game sale. So speaking of being a good cool. time to be a fan of fighting games, go buy some right now at cheap. Yeah. Especially Unio. <laughs> yeah, it's birth. worth it. Yeah, uh, yeah, it is a really good time to be to be playing fighting games. Well, mm-hmm. I guess yeah, I guess you're right. You you phrase it better with fighting game fans because regardless of what you like, you it's better for you now than it ever it has been. Yeah. If yeah. you just like mm-hmm. to play casually, there are more games now. There's more variety. If you like to watch, there are streams every second. Mm-hmm. There's always a stream. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Um, and if you like to play, like competitively. There are more majors for you to go to in more places. Uh, if you are a top, top level player, you can actually make a career doing it now. Mm-hmm. Tournament organizers are making $30,000 each single time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no. right, right. But, uh, but, you know, there are, there are a bunch of majors yeah. being run. Commentators are making $30,000 each time. It's <laughs> well, that's the first time I haven't been able to keep a straight face when you... Okay. <laughs> No, but hey, it's, it, for, for everybody, it's it's a good time. Yeah, and someone was, some people mentioning Skullgirls also on sale right now. And oh, is that one? To, of let awesome. me tell you something right now. I mean, like, every time they come out with a new character, they're free for a certain period of time. So Beowulf, I think, is still free right now. But, I mean, if you buy Skullgirls, and as soon as a character comes out, they're free, you don't even have to be at the console. Just go online, to this, this play, just type in Google PlayStation Store. Buy them there, and you never even have to worry about it. That's how I do it, and then right. you just have it, and you don't even ever turn on your console. So you know, um, it's 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 such a great deal for a game. You get a lot of characters in there and such. So, for sure. Yeah, and and as you can see, the, the scene seems to be growing. It does. So, yeah. Very fun game. Very cool. Highly recommended. Yeah. Um, we'll mm-hmm. we're, we'll have Mike Z to uh, come on the show to help introduce. You know, the new, new mechanics and yeah. also the new characters since we... Yeah, because last time we had him on, it was still like the old uh, infinite prevention system yeah. and all these other things. And that game has changed a lot. Yeah. That game has changed a lot. Quite a different game. So, so we'll have him on in the near future, for sure, mm-hmm. to talk about yeah. everything. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. Is that a bit, Is that about it? About uh, KI? I know, I mean, there's other stuff, but I just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. okay, well... Want to talk about uh, yes. upcoming events? So, uh, just recently, uh, Arc System Works, speaking of companies that are supporting their games and such like that, mm. um, they've done recently, they did the um, the Arc Revolution. I remember one of the re- recent Arc Revolutions where they even just shocked ev- the world with Guilty Gear Excerpt announcement. Right. Right, that came out of nowhere. I remember, I still remember, I was just like, jaw, I was like... Ugh. Yeah. Cause I still remember watching it too, because I was like, "Oh, it's two D. That's so cool. They right, did two right, D, right. and they did that thing where they clash and then they spun around them." Mm-hmm. And I was like, "I guess they did that cool little cute effect just for you know right. this, this particular trailer." And then after a while, I figured out it was three D. Yeah, and I was like, "Dude, for what? sure." Yeah. But in any case, they've announced Arc Revolution twenty fifteen. So Arc Revo Cup, basically twenty fifteen. Still quite a ways away. It's going to be on August fifteenth at Shinagawa Intercity Hall in Tokyo, but that was announced, and so that's going to be very cool. I can't wait to see that. Yeah, so, for yeah. sure. And I, I got to imagine, see, here's a perfect opportunity for a lot of U.S. players to head out over there and, and like, compete in that kind of event. So I would like to see a lot of tournaments maybe, like, try to give a prize to, you know, help fund people over there nice. and stuff like that. So it would be really cool to see. For sure. Yeah. Um, also this weekend is uh, KVO, right? Mm-hmm. Um, why don't you uh, move the thing over there so I... Oh, yeah, sorry. There you go. There you go. So that's this weekend, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So this is a KBO versus TSB, which is Team Stick Bug. So uh, I'm not sure exactly, you know, what the exact details of why it's called that. Like, I don't know if they're doing, like, a team tournament against each other, but... Um, it's actually one of the premier Japanese tournaments for Marvel versus Capcom 3. Right. So they're going to have that there. 
Um, but it, apparently this is the first time KBO has been a joint venture between Japanese uh, and American tournament organizers. So Stickbug is one of the guys there. I, I guess it's KBO X TSB, not versus TSB. That's how I saw it written somewhere else. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's not versus. So basically Stickbug, which is super cool, yeah. uh, helping, helping sure. out with this event over there. So needless to say, you know, Stickbug, huge fan of the anime games and such like that. So Marvel, Guilty Gear, Exert Sign, mm -hmm. and Persona 4 Arena Ultimax. Yep. And, uh, Evo will, qualifiers. Yep. A courtesy of Stickbug and Stun Edge. Right. So basically the winners of those will automatically get trips to Evolution. That's that's so cool. I, yeah. I'm, I'm really happy to hear about that. I know there are at least a couple of American players going over for that, although I don't know how many. I know, But mm -hmm. I've seen on Twitter some people say that they're going to be going. Right. Uh, that's really cool. But look, I always like to see um, Japanese Marvel. That's always fun. Yeah. But I mean, yeah, I kind of remember seeing when I mentioned on on Twitter that people that Americans don't travel to Asia as much. I thought I saw Justin say he was going to KVO, but mm. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I mean, if he is, he better be leaving soon. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, because it's this weekend in Japan. So, yeah, yeah. But uh, that that's really cool though. Shout outs to KVO and shout outs to Team Stick Bug. So yeah, man. Really very very stuff. cool news. Yep. Okay. Does it say where that'll be streamed? I mean. Uh, I guess presumably like. Oh, well, here we go. So, so God's Garden is doing the Japanese stream. I see. And then Ogre Live is going to be doing it for English viewers. But apparently, they are both on Nico Nico. Nico Nico. Okay. Oh well, I, I guess maybe. Yeah, I'm not Could sure. Could be God's Garden Twitch, but yeah. yeah. Anyway, keep an eye out for that. Mm -hmm, for sure. So good stuff there. So uh, let's see what else we have here. So that's it for event news. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about game news. There's nothing too major to report. Mm -hmm. um, Jason is coming out for uh, MKX on May 5th, which is this coming weekend, or mm -hmm. is that is that next Monday? May 5th is mo Tuesday next week. Next Oh, it's so next week when we're talking yeah. about it, I guess mm -hmm. we could be... Is the whole character pack coming out, or is it just it's Jason? just Jason. Oh, it's just Jason. Yeah, there's going to be oh, one okay, after another. Okay. Like Presumably like they did with MK9 and with Injustice, where they release one, and then they wait a little while, and right, release right, another. Right, and right, right. Yeah. It's probably going to work like that. And probably, and also another thing, too, is that you can buy the whole combat pack, which gets you all four of them, you know, as they get released. So, um, you don't have to just buy them one by one, so you right. can just buy the combo pack right now. For sure. So. So look forward to Jason. We don't really know much about him yet, but there is going to be a stream uh, this weekend that will be, you know, talking all about what his variations are, <laughs> nice, all nice. sorts of stuff like that. Dude, so I'm really curious to see definitely what they're look forward do with to that. this character. Yeah, <laughs> see if they can come up with something super creative with him. So. Agreed, man. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, look, based on what the other characters have, I assume that it's going to be something yeah, interesting. Yeah, uh -huh. so. uh, then also, I mean, there's a Katana Infinite. Yeah. I guess something about. When she hits you with her little side thing, like she can kind of jump cancel it or something, something like, like that. She does jump weird. one, and she does some weird fastball property that right. MK gives mm -hmm. you. And whatever, man, it's all janky. It's, it's it, Mortal Kombat. It's, it's Mortal Kombat. <laughs> don't don't get mad about it. Yeah, and That's it's, how the it'll, game it'll is. get patched out. Soon and it will get patched so, out. Yeah, certainly sure. it'll get patched out. Sure. So. so don't worry about it too much. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Uh, uh, Gigas? Gigas? I don't know how you pronounce it, but the, a brand new character for Tekken 7 oh, right, was right, released right. in the arcades. I, I think it was today, actually. It was just, it was very recent. It was very recent. Uh, did I bring that up there? I thought I had it up here. No, I don't. Okay, but yeah, he was he was released in the arcades very recently. Brand new character for Tekken, so uh, I'm pretty sure there's probably a lot of footage out there, you know, people taking awesome 240p <laughs> cell phone quality videos. It's a good bet. <laughs> so, yeah. It's very cool. Um, also, speaking Ooh. of KI, right. the Cinder trailer came out. Didn't really show much of what his gameplay was about. It was more of a comedic kind of trailer. They, they did have the little character gameplay breakdown the other day, right, though. Right, right. Which I watched. He seems like a really interesting, well, obviously, character. Yeah. Well, what's his gimmick? What's his gimmick? I haven't seen it yet. So he has a bunch of stuff going on. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm sure I'm not going to remember everything. <laughs> um, so he has fire that, like, flame, he, he flame on, right? right yeah, yeah, Every yeah. eight uh -huh, seconds, uh -huh, uh -huh. it comes back, and you can use it in a couple of different ways. Like, he has a flash kick that gets made safe, 
Mm -hmm. it, uh, okay. If you if you have it, then his projectile gets huge. When you have it, then mm -hmm. um, he has like Hugo Clap. Uh, he has <laughs> yeah, uh, Hugo Clap basically. And he has a little sticky ball that he throws, and if you're if you block it or if you get hit by it, it attaches itself to you, and then he oh, can he can make it explode. Yeah. It's like Shumagorat, almost, like the eyeballs. Yeah, but right? you can do it on command. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Um, which is interesting. And That's I actually know. like June the Swan from Tatsunoko versus Capcom. Is it? I never yeah, played Yeah, it's that. actually yeah, very, very similar. To, she, she could put these little glue bombs on you and blow okay. them up and stuff like that. I always wanted to play that game, but... <laughs> basically, that game then was like KI for me now. Yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. Where I just think it's cool looking, but I'm not going to get a... it. It's still... To me, in my opinion, the best looking game on the regular Wii. Mm. Like, the game actually looked really nice. I, was, I do, I totally agree with you. Game, it so. was. Yeah. Um, okay, okay. Uh, also, uh, I guess Aria or Aria was teased at the end of it. Yeah. Which is really funny because the first teaser for all the characters were silhouettes and it just looks like the character is a silhouette. So, I mean. Maybe there's more to it. I don't know. Was that was that a previous character in KI? I don't know. Like, no, the series no, I don't think well. so. no, okay. I don't think so. Um, just she kind of reminds me of like new, just the the way that the silhouette right, looks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, cool uh, things uh, sticking uh, out uh, behind uh, her, like some yeah. peacock looking thing. Yeah. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Uh, also, news on the USF4 front on PC. Mm -hmm. um, they had a beta recently where they were testing out better net code for the PC version. Well, that net code has been rolled out now, so it's live. So uh, even if you didn't sign up for that little beta test, uh, you should be able to uh, check it out now and see how that goes. Okay. So, yeah, and then you know, hopefully it is a lot better. Did you see the video that someone tweeted us earlier talking about the frame delay, the lag yeah. stuff on all the versions of Street Fighter Four? This was kind of interesting, where basically the guy showed that PlayStation Three arcade and PC all have the same input lag, you know, like right. you hit a button and four frames later the move will start animating, right? So that's four out of 60, so that's four sixtieths of, you know. Wasn't it five? It was like four or five or something like hmm. that, yeah. But um, in any case, the 360 was the only version that was different than them by like two frames, it's faster. Yeah. He's, he, he had the arcade board, mm -hmm. and he did it without V-Sync on, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and it turned out to be basically like how Xbox is. Mm -hmm. So he was speculating that like maybe there's just like some screwiness with with that, or maybe they didn't even right, implement it. Right. So, yeah. yeah, and then not only that too, but he was saying that's probably why. I mean, he was, he was trying very hard not to make it as an excuse for a lot of the Japanese players, but... You know, they maybe that's why they have trouble landing some combos, you know, or whatever like that. Because I also remember when, um, who was the Elena player who came out to CEO last year? Oh, um, was it Akimo? Yeah, 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 Akimo. I remember Akimo dropping a lot of Elena yeah. combos and such like that. So, but I also remember we we had we were used to 360. Whenever I went to go play PS3 versions of Street Fighter 4, like I would miss jump roundhouse low forward drill with Cami. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> I don't know how, I mean, but it would make sense if I hit it too early, then my low forward wouldn't even cancel, right? So, you know, it's kind of interesting, but if the, if it's more consistent on the, quote, slower one by two frames, I mean, but if it's consistent that way. So the question really to bring up is, what's the PS4 version? Be? That's the main question. Yep. Because this, this is all sort of academic at this point because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. PS4 version is coming out so soon and in the meantime, all the tournaments are already committed to whatever they have already planned to use. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, whatever. But, yep. yeah, we'll see. Okay. I mean, really, whatever PS4 plays like, that's yeah. what we're going to play on. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's it. Like, <laughs> tournaments are, like, contractually required <laughs> yeah. to use PS4. Yeah. So. Uh, I guess uh, they also announced that Gengar is a character in Pokken. Oh, yeah? I missed that. Oh, yeah. Like oh, Shadow no, Gengar or something. Oh, I forgot. You actually play Pokemon, so you know who these characters are. You don't know who Gengar is, I now. have no idea. I was just saying it like, you know, kind of like... 20 years ago, man. Just, I mean, know. I don't know all the new ones, but, you know. <laughs> well, now i got to look up what he looks like yeah. to see if he looks cool. But the news that I thought was exciting was that the creator of Rival Schools was like, I really want to make Rival Schools 3. That'd be so sick. 
come on, let's do it. Let's like really make a big deal out of the fact that they're from different high schools and keep them in their teams and stuff, please. I mean, he pretty much looks like Gengar, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know what I was expecting because the other the other one. Dude, one's how much can you like even facepalm that I don't know Gengar? I don't know any of the Pokemon. Like you know, like Pikachu, Pikachu and yeah. uh, the, all the ones that showed up in Smash Brothers. Those are the ones that I know, right? Well, some of them were like. Items. Yeah, you know, that's what I mean. Ones. Yeah, the items. That's the, that's like Golding Golding. You know, Golding. like Snorlax. Golding Golding. Yeah. yeah, I know Snorlax because he comes down and bodies everybody. Yeah, he does. So. Yeah, I think there's like a Gyarados in there. Yeah, too. you guys don't even like. I know Pokemon's been around forever. Yeah. I was actually too old for Pokemon when Pokemon came out. Okay. Look, it was just a fun game. Yeah, I know. It was. I, know. I mean, I like I watched the show because my little brother was like that age, and so mm. we watched it, but. It was that was who cared about that? The game itself was a lot of fun. Right. I think really I was, was in college when the game came out, so Yeah. 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 <laughs> in any case, um uh, uh, there was a couple of things that we also we wanted I mean that's it for game news. Right? That's it for game news, yeah. Uh, so miscellaneous stuff, uh one thing I kinda wanted to talk about was did you watch any of Heroes of the Dorm. How could I have watched it? I don't have a cable subscription. Oh. Well, how, how old do they think I am? Okay, okay. Fair enough. Am I 50 years old over here? I have a cable TV subscription still? I have cable. Oh, yeah, that's oh, right, because I'm 50. Go. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. It all makes sense. <laughs> no, but I, I, didn't, I didn't watch it. Um, I would have if I had mm-hmm. if I had, had that, but uh, I wasn't going to go out to like watch it at a sports bar or anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's cool. I don't know. I mean, what do you think about it? I saw. I actually had it on for a long period of time. Did I was you? just watching it. Um, it was really professionally done. It was really well done. I mean, to be honest with you, it, it just felt like I was watching a Twitch stream. Right. It was like the same kind of thing, except the pedigree of people were there. Like they had Tasteless Artosis Day Nine. They had like the, they brought all the big I mean, guns. That sounds out like there. a yeah, yeah, yeah. like a well produced Twitch stream, though. I mean, th- yeah, yeah. did it did it have anything that was notably different or? I wouldn't be the one to be able to okay. say. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I don't watch Heroes right. of the Storm very much either, but um, did, I don't know. It didn't feel like a different sort of thing, though. It felt like a. It felt like just stream. a real. I mean, the the, the 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 event itself, the stadium was really swanky. I mean, was it, was it in really a stadium? Nice. Well, I mean, it wasn't in a stadium. It was kind of like in a hall thing, but it was dark. Okay. Lots of lights going around okay. everywhere, and all sorts of crazy things like that. But I mean, it was really, really kind of neat. I mean, uh, obviously there was a lot of people who tuned into ESPN too, and was like, "What's a video game doing on my sports channel?" And there was a lot of butt hurt people on Twitter <laughs> about it and such. But I mean, the the more interesting one to me was, you know, the people who didn't go in there with the preconceived notion that gaming sucks. Yeah. Right. A lot of people were like, "I have no idea what this is, but I haven't been able to stop watching it for like the last hour." You know, a lot. There was actually a lot of tweets That's about awesome, that. Yeah. yeah, so it's actually really cool. They did a good job capturing people. I know a lot of people got mad at some of the commentators because they weren't doing as much analysis. Oh. But that's because they were trying to hype it up, be excited, yeah. and keep people involved and stuff like that. You know, so, you know, I just think it was it was kind of neat to see that it was well, there. I, I don't think it's like game changing. Like okay. we made it on TV. Right. It was just it's neat to see it there. Because so. certainly there is that segment that yeah. thinks that. Mm-hmm, yeah. Mm-hmm. Just I I agree. I think that's sad. Mm-hmm. Well, like the the the, the tweet where though was like there's nothing better than than when you see the parent. You know, congratulating their son for being good at video games because one of the winners yeah. from Cal Berkeley had their Asian mom like hugging, <laughs> hugging him and like crying because the winners they got lifetime college tuition for the rest of their life. Is that what it was? Yeah, uh-huh. so that's actually pretty good. That is pretty good. That is it was really cool. But I mean, like the the mom is just like crying and hugging him, and it's like it, like the tweet was basically like validation, and right. I was like, I don't know if I I should watch this and be like, yeah or oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, first of all, who knows if that's even accurate? Like maybe that dude's mom has just like always been there for him. It's <laughs> right. like, hey man, like congrats on the this is the 80th tournament of yours I've been to, but it's <laughs> always been cool. You know, who knows? Right, right. I, I hope that that's the case. But if it's not, and if it's the case that like she was, you know, all. She didn't like it until oh, mm-hmm. ESPN took attention. Oh, yeah, like, I know. 
that's that's silly. I hope that that wasn't the case. This, this tweet was just by some dude. It was just yeah, like yeah, the yeah, photographer. Yeah, yeah. So. But I saw a lot of people retweet it. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. I saw a lot of people retweet it and stuff like that. So. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, I admit, I felt some of that sometimes when my parents actually, like, acknowledge the fact that I'm doing cool things, but I think that's just mostly because of the Asian background thing, right? So I've always been so harshly judged by my parents and stuff, so, you know. I guess, I mean, I... I Damn it, I can't wait for my moment where my mom hugs me. I know, yeah, come on. Oh, man. Yeah, <laughs> um, I mean, it, it was always cool with my parents. Like, I, I so I, I know that I have a bit of an unusual mm-hmm, thing. Right, I yeah. mean, it's not used. It's, mm-hmm. it's people my my age group, or you know, early early mid thirties. Um, a lot of a lot of them didn't have that like mm-hmm. the familial support. But like you know, my dad bought our first console. It was his. Right. Like, we uh-huh, played Commodore uh-huh. with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he played in the arcades and stuff. So it's not like that. <laughs> in fact, just when I went home like last month, we were playing. Um, we were playing uh, Link to the Past. Oh, he really? was like, "Hey, David, like, let's go, let's play some Link to the Past." Damn. I was like, "All right, cool." Man. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, I, obviously, that's not usual, but at the same time, I I can't help but feel like for the the new generation uh-huh. that um, it's like almost less. It's rare to have yeah. the opposite, uh-huh. yeah, right? Yeah, Where, like yeah, people yeah. are all uh-huh. totally against video games now, right. so. Eh, you know, it's a whole generational no, thing. No, I mean, like, what the ver- like the very first time we told our parents that we were going to drive up to San Francisco, the very first time we were going up to San Francisco, we were going to drive up there for B3 for a video game thing. Mm-hmm. They weren't very happy about mm-hmm. it, let's just put it that way. But to be fair, both my brother and I were always good kids, so yeah. my parents were, always, were just like, all right, go for it. You know, right. they didn't care because right. they knew we weren't going to get into trouble or right. whatever like that, but... I think I've told the story on on here before. Like, like, I was at Disneyland one time with like my friends, and well, I was like with there with Jason and Kelly was there, and like my brother and stuff. And my parents were there because you know they were there with my brother, and 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 they, and you know they wanted to see the grandkids and everything like that. And someone came up to me. and was like, "You're James Chen, aren't uh, you?" Yeah. And I was like, "Yeah." And he's like, "Can I get a photo?" And he was there with his wife and their baby, and they made me take a picture with their family and everything <laughs> like that. And after they walked away, my mom was like, oh, I'm so proud of you. And I was just like, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) That's nice. Yeah, it is. I mean, like I said, it's just years and years of just like your parents like telling you you're wasting your time playing video games. And it's always nice when you get that kind of thing. So That makes sense to me. Mm -hmm. That makes sense to me. Um, But anyway, congrats to everybody involved for getting it on ESPN because I know Mm -hmm. that that's a coup to at least some degree. Um, The people who are totally against it or who cares <laughs> someone called me a mama's boy 100% dude. yeah 100% dude. <laughs> you don't even know <laughs> okay. you don't even know uh. um, I mean I don't care about those people because you know to be perfectly frank they're gonna die off way sooner than we're gonna <laughs> well, that's a bleak way of looking uh, at it and so like yeah, 30 years from now it's, we're gonna be there's going to be video games yeah, probably yeah. not on TV because uh, it was TV even going to be around 30 years. Right. I don't know. Who cares? I mean, that's... That... It, it's going to be everywhere, though. Yeah. Because we will be. I mean, it's kind of interesting, too, because obvious, I'm at the exact wrong age. Like, I am at the age right now where my generation, like, what, what I enjoy doing, I was born a little too early mm-hmm. because, mm-hmm. you know, all of my friends that are my age, none of their wives... Or girlfriends like video games. Right. They all I hate you. them. I hear Waste you. of time. Why do you play this crap? Why are you up all the time? Everyone who's like mid 20s and 30s or whatever, like, you know, younger than that, they just grew up with video games in their household, right? So it's just like it's not even a big deal to them. It's just like watching TV or just having a yeah. computer and kind of stuff like that, right? Which is why it's always, you know, kind of annoying every time I do date someone that's my age. I, I mean, I literally had a date one time where it was just like, what do you like to do? I like playing video games. And you could just see the disinterest. Yeah, just oh, like, that sucks. And I was like, wow, well, that screwed up. I mean, to be fair, that has happened to me too. Uh-huh. But probably less frequently, I guess. Yeah, you know, yeah. Just because the age, the age issue. Right. I mean, to be honest with you, I was always of the mind point that, you know, if you don't like it, you're going to find out eventually, so you might as well know now. 100% agree. Because I can't hide it, and I'm not going to change. 100%, I'm yeah. not going to change, totally, dude. Yeah. Video games are for me. When, so, I, when, yeah. when, I, when I was dating, I definitely would bring that. was first date. Uh-huh, that we definitely uh-huh, had yeah, that talk, just, uh-huh, just to see. Yeah, uh-huh. 
Uh, yeah, exactly. For, sure. so. uh, <laughs> for, for, for me, for the girls my age, um, a bunch of them, like, like my, my uh-huh. girlfriend, for example, she grew up playing games, but then there was a while where games were marketed like exclusively to boys, oh, yeah. remember? Uh-huh. So she played all the games that were like early 90s and before, uh-huh. and then after that, when the marketing machine made it very clear that like she shouldn't be playing video games, uh-huh. Uh-huh. and she didn't. And it's the same with a lot of girls that age, which sucks. I don't know why, but when you talked about games being marketed solely to boys and stuff like that, you saw the new picture of Jared Leto as the Joker, right? Yes. Yeah. Someone did the best Photoshop of that I've seen. Oh, I know. The Game Boy one. The Game Boy one, yeah. Where it's like, what color will you choose? Play it loud. Dude, and it's dude. like all the Game Boy <laughs> colors. And he's like, ah. I was just like, dude, that I was, was laughing. was so perfect. I was laughing for hours. Because so if you perfect. grew up with EGM magazines yeah. and stuff like that, every ad looked like that. I know exactly dude, what you're I was laughing about. for yeah. hours, yeah. dude. Oh, my God. <laughs> It's too damn funny. Like some fragmented distortion <laughs> in the background, right? Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. Oh, uh, by the way, they, they said that that's not going to be how he actually looks. Oh, really? Did you see that? Yeah, that's not I'm how sure he they actually retracted. looks. I'm no, sure. no, then I saw some like secret slides that were uh, like unofficial, but definitely of him, where he looks totally different. Oh, like, really? It's totally, it's totally different. So, so why would they release it as a I don't know. That doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah, I know. That's like the worst idea ever, so... I'm not sure what to tell you. Definitely not a good call. But it was real silly looking. Yeah. Real yeah. silly looking. Yeah. Anyway, congrats to the people who got the Heroes of the Storm thing. I feel like that's not a good game to have on ESPN as, like, the welcome to esports mm-hmm. game because it's, like, so convoluted. Like, if you haven't played that game before, if you haven't played MOBAs before in general, you are just not going to figure it, it out. It even looked more complicated than just even something like League of Legends because there was multiple maps. And, yeah, yeah. Uh, there's like a time-based thing where you have to like go underground in one map yeah, and there's there like, like there's the objectives totally switch based yeah, on time. One of, the, like, one of the maps I saw, you're supposed to capture shrines so you can create a dragon so you can turn into a dragon and attack people and stuff like that. And I was like, whoa, this is complicated, more complicated, man. Yeah. It is. So it's, it's really, I think, not a good call for that, but... Um, it's popular. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. it, you know, that's cool. But maybe better option? Fighting games, huh? Yeah. Everybody uh-huh. understands that, huh? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Very easy uh-huh. to follow. Uh-huh. Yes, Life uh-huh. meter, that's, uh, that's all you need. Whatever, that's not <laughs> happening. <laughs> <laughs> not anytime soon, in any case. Uh, yeah. Dude, I wonder if Capcom might be just like for Capcom Cup trying to get it on ESPN. That would be pretty cool. That would be pretty cool. That would be scary, though. You, yeah, would you be scared to be on Dude, I was scared when we were at the we were at the the, the the venue last year. I know, but you got through that. And then at South by Southwest, we did a way better job. Yeah, I guess. But, I mean, it wasn't... I don't even just mean that. I just mean when I first sat up there and I just saw that the audience was out there, I just... But like, next, I felt next time you'll be good. You'll be good. <laughs> you'll, you'll, you'll have been there. Right, 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 you already, right. already did yeah, that. Maybe, so. maybe, yeah. But um, also, just on side... Yeah. Video game news. Silent Hill, dude. Mmm, rip. Dude, did you did you play Silent Hill? Never did. Have you seen anything about it? Yes. Oh, okay, you did see it, dude. That thing was amazing. Yeah. And I, it's, uh, yeah. It's so painful. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's so painful, dude, because I love Silent Hill to death. And, yeah. you know, I, that, that PT game was so cool. Like, it was just, it was so neat how they did it. So it's unfortunate news. Yeah. yeah. That, that whole company seems to be getting some craziness going on. Yeah. yeah. Konami, Rip in general. Yeah. That's, someone, that's how it seems. Someone basically said, actually, they're like, now that the game is canceled, you can still get it, like, one day left. So if you haven't got it for PS4, sign in to... Actually, if you just have a PlayStation account, I don't know if you can download it anymore. Mm-hmm. Actually, you won't be able to download it anymore, probably. So... Turn on your PS4 right now and download it. Even if you don't play it for another three years, just get it onto your console because someone, I, I, saw, I read a comment from someone that was like, given now that this game is no longer downloadable as a, and it was a demo, could it be possibly one of the best standalone free games ever? Hmm. And I was like, you know, <laughs> just for what it was, it was so amazing. So You can still download it without a PS4. Hmm. Mm, okay. Okay. Yeah, because I mean, I just I would just go to the Sony store and like buy yeah. it because yeah. it's free, right? But then once it's taken down, I wonder if you could still download it if you haven't downloaded it mm. yet. That's that's basically what I'm wondering. So. I don't know. 
Anyways, uh, supposedly it's supposed to go away on the 30th or something like that. So on the 30th, get it before the 30th, and after the 30th, start buying stuff for Killer Instinct. Exactly right. Yeah, <laughs> dude, I'm gonna go and buy a bunch of stuff for Killer Instinct. Yeah, you should. Sure. That's nice. Yeah, 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 for sure. So, well, let me tell you about a little video game I've been playing lately. Mm-hmm. It's called Civ Five. <laughs> Did they patch it? No. Oh, okay, okay. It's just the same ass game. <laughs> no, I'm gonna keep playing it basically forever. Wait, which Civ was the brand new one that just came out recently? Beyond Earth. Oh, okay, okay. That was the one that it's has basically it. toilet bowl. Yeah. <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> Is it really that bad? It's not terrible, but okay. it's just so much less interesting. Oh, okay. Now, I'll tell you the game that I've been hooked on recently. Hmm. Is, it's it's grinding the game basically. Final Fantasy Record Keeper. Oh, I've seen on it on the phone. You know how like when you played the old fighting game of uh, old RPGs, there was just a period of time where you walked around in circles and just like got gold and until you could buy weapons and everything. It's like the whole game. There's like no wandering. <laughs> really? You just go battle over and over and over again. Really? And so in like if your characters are powerful enough, you can just put them on auto and you just. Put the phone really? aside and watch them kill three like groups of monsters, and you win. Go to the next thing, dude. But it's wow. like I can't stop playing it. Like it totally sounds like it's not fun, but it's yeah, just it like does. you play it and you just get stuck on it. Cause I'm just like I got the gold now. Oh, I got a holy orb. I can upgrade my cura so I can use it six times. And now I've got these weapons. And I just upgraded this weapon. I combined them together. Now it's a four star weapon. Okay. Dude, okay. I'm like so obsessed with that thing now. Oh my god. Well, a, a few weeks ago, well, actually over a course of a couple of months, I played a bunch of those really popular phone games. Like which the, ones? Um, like the one that whatever her name is is the ad campaign lady for, like Game of oh, War. Oh, Game maybe? Upton, yeah, Kate Upton yeah. doing the Game of War. Yeah, thing. Game of yeah, War. Yeah. And how did you play all these? A bunch of these things. You can just get them. They're oh, okay, they're free. Okay, okay. But they're these really frustrating free to play games where mm -hmm. you know, either you let something build over the course of ten minutes or you buy it. Right, 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 right. I mean, I can see that there's there's probably it's probably really fun and strategic if you are cool with shelling out dough. Oh, right, 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 right. But, uh, <laughs> old Davey over here is not cool with that, so. <laughs> Dude, I saw a friend post up his Final Fantasy Record Keeper characters. With, he had, like, five-star equipment on everything. And I was like, dude, how'd you do that? He's like, a lot of luck and a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> and I was like, man. <sighs> <sighs> okay. <laughs> you know the, how much money that company's making, though? The, whoever the company is that makes Game of War? Dude. Absurd. They, they would have had to have paid a lot of money to get Kate Upton to their right. commercials, right? I can imagine. Are, dude, they're, like, every fifth tweet that I see is, like, a promoted tweet from <laughs> Game of War. They're also on, on, like, Twitch all the time, right? Yes. Yeah, their commercials comes up when you run the Twitch ads. And they're totally like irrelevant. That. Like, they're not even always the game. It's just, like... The, like the Twitter one is like here's Kate Upton just like hanging out in a tub and some lady's like caressing her arm. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. That's literally what the. the oh, I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> but that's it. That's I mean, what? It's just Game of War. What? What are you talking about? I've yeah. never seen this at all. Uh -huh. I've not paid attention. To but it. they are making a billion. I don't know if literally a billion, but yeah. a lot of money. Um, a lot yeah, of money. A lot of these companies are making money, so. <laughs> that's what Conan needs to start doing. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Oh, man. Uh, yeah. All we covered for MKX was that Jason is coming out and that, surprise, there was an infinite and the game was coded poorly. <laughs> 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 it's such a fun game. Please don't let me turn you off from it. It's yeah, so fun. I, I love it. Oh, God. The net code, though. The net code. I've been playing more, and I would say I have success. I have more success now because I'm playing Civ Five while doing it. And what I do is I'm just playing Civ. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it, and I have like player match trying to find right, not right, not ranked, right, right. but uh -huh. like player match. And most of the time it comes back with like a zero bar connection uh -huh. or a one bar connection and I say screw off, I'll wait for the next one. Uh -huh. And eventually, after like a long period of time, <laughs> it finds me somebody who right. I can play with. So, right, but right. that's that's how I've been doing it. No, that's absolutely I mean you saw it, I'm sitting there playing Final Fantasy on my yeah. phone while I'm waiting for matches. So yeah. that's the way it works. So yeah. Okay, okay that's cool. Well, that's cool. That's probably about it. Yep. Um, yeah, so um, again, this weekend is going to be KBO X TSB. 
KBO and Team Stickbug. So check that out if you can get a chance. Uh, just search for KBOXTSB on Shoryuken.com and you'll find the, the link to it. And uh, hopefully, you know, you can click on the links there and you'll get to the streams as well. So, yeah, that should be a lot of fun, actually. So. For sure. Bloodborne, dude. <laughs> I already did. Uh, I already did uh, Dark Souls. So I'm good. Dragon. Which one was the? F- Dark Souls is the sequel. I did the one before that. Demon, Demon Souls. Souls. I yeah. did Demon Souls. Yeah. So, and that game definitely caused some Chen rage. Mm-hmm, I can see that. that. Game definitely caused some Chen rage. Yeah, I might stream later. Just doing MKX uh, training mode stuff, but we'll yeah. see. Oh yeah, this weekend is also the Mayweather fight. It's also Avengers. Is it coming out this weekend? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. <laughs> I'm so hyped for that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely definitely see that. <laughs> All right, cool. What did you think about the the um, Fantastic Four trailer? You didn't see it? I saw it. Oh, you just hate it? I was just like... Oh, yeah? Okay. Yeah, I wasn't excited by it at all. So okay. It just looks so... Str- like... Their origin story is, like, one of the more uninteresting origin stories, and it's already been told in one of the previous movies. Yeah. Like, you could tell it looks like they take their time trying to tell this origin story. Yeah. Like, this is... The, Fantastic Four at this point should be, like, movie start. We have our powers. Flashback. Quick summary. This is what happened. Now let's go. Like, I, I just think they just need to stop dilly-dallying on that whole origin story stuff. Okay. Yeah. I mean... It's kind of weird that, like, Victor Von Doom is, like, there's, it's not his, that's, like, his online name. That's what I heard. What? <laughs> that's what I heard, dude, I heard. He has an online name. Here's what I heard. <laughs> I don't know if this is accurate at all, but let me know if it is or isn't. Okay. Was that he's just, he's a hacker, and his name is, like, Victor, like, I don't know, remember what it is, a Doomenthal. So I'm making it up, but it's something like that. And that he goes, he just goes by Von Doom. Uh, in hacker circles. <laughs> Is that accurate? Let me know if that's true. <laughs> Say a well screen name. Say a well screen name. <laughs> oh, man. No, someone actually mentioned this. Daredevil. I haven't seen it. So good. Yeah? It's I'm nine episodes through it. It's so good. Like... It is easily, by far, the most adult thing out of everything Marvel has done. Really? It's so violent. And, like, they swear all... It's like they basically made an HBO show. It's, like, that level. Huh. Like, some of the violence... I've cringed. Like, I will watch it. I'm just like, oh, my God. Like, at the end of episode four. I won't explain what... I won't spoil okay, what happens it. there. Yeah. But at the end of episode four, I was like, oh, go oh, God, oh, and then at the end of episode two, they have a fight scene that is just, it's like fantastic. Really? Like the fight scene is so good. That that show is so good. So, yeah. Apparently it was Domashev. Domashev. <laughs> Thanks. Oh my god. Uh, well, as far as the the Fantastic Four goes, I'm, I'm cool if a movie that's like a superhero movie isn't like a billion action sh- uh, yeah, shots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh, that's cool absolutely. with me. Um, I really for example I really like the new Star Treks but you know, it would be kind of nice if like a Star Trek or some other movie was like old Star Trek where it was it wasn't like action movie necessarily it was like a little bit of a different take on things you know, you know it was interesting that you bring that up I mean we're totally off topic just talking about whatever yeah. so you know I'm a big James Bond fan right yes so Casino Royale reboot came out so good so good right and then Quantum of Solace came out, mm-hmm. and literally, like, the first four scenes are, like, action scenes. Mm-hmm. And there's literally no break in between it. And at some point, you're just like, can we, like, stop and, like, talk for a little bit? And <laughs> I mean, seriously, it actually felt that way after a while. I hear you. Yeah. So, yeah, no, I totally know what you mean. I totally yeah. know what you mean. Yeah. For sure. So, yeah. <sighs> oh, yeah. The, by the way, the Star Wars trailer... Oh, yeah, the Star Wars trailer. I was a little bit underwhelmed. Everybody seemed to be very happy about it. I'm really stoked for the movie, don't get me wrong, but far, as far as the trailer itself goes, mm-hmm. opening shot, very cool looking. Yeah, yeah. Other than that, yeah. it was just like, eh, just, it's just flying it's, around. It, it's or... so interesting to me, though, because it's like, it was... So the one thing that I will say is that J.J. J. Abrams is bringing a visual style to it that 
hasn't existed before. Yeah. Not only that, it's kind of like a new visual style, but based on the original trilogy because everything looks Definitely. dirty and old and dusty and less CG. So it's just it's looked really exciting to me. And then I'm Han, excited for the movie itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Han and Chewie at the end was just like that was so sick. That was so sick. All right, good. All right. Yeah. I'm stoked for the movie itself, but the trailer I thought was... Eh. It was a teaser. It was just a teaser. Just like those Batman, Superman ones. I was more interested for the Batman, Super one, Superman one. Because I felt like that... I felt like there was some, like... Like, I got a little bit of, like, the plot going yeah, on. Yeah, like, yeah, There was yeah. a little uh, bit more, uh, like... He, there were more ideas to it. It wasn't just, like, here's some scenes. Right, oh, we're right. flying around. Oh, here's Han yeah. and Chewie. Uh, I like, mean, the hardest thing about that one, though, is that... They're getting Batman versus Superman all wrong, right? It's completely wrong, right? And then, dude, Why? We're, we're totally nerding out on this. Why is that right? wrong? And then also, the other thing, too, is, like, I love the concept. Like, there's a super powerful man. How does the world react to him? And it's really, you know, I love that concept. It doesn't work for Superman. Why like, not? Superman has always been, like, Superman. Like, he, he's here to save the day. You know, it just, it doesn't feel right to me. I, I'm cool with it. But the reason why that the Batman-Superman aspect doesn't work, it would be like watching Iron Man 1. I read this in an article. Someone made this comparison. It's like watching Iron Man 1 and the second movie is Civil War. And Iron Man uh-huh. and Captain America fight each other. Okay, and yeah, you're I, like, guess, I guess. And you're like, what? I, I mean, the sense, whole yeah. thing about Batman Superman is that Clark and and Bruce are friends. Right. And they've been helping each other for years and years, and then they finally have to fight each other. There's this gravitas to it. Okay. I mean, that makes and sense. And this one is just more like, I'm Batman. I want to hunt down this guy because I think he's being bad. And it's like, who okay. cares at okay. this point? That makes so, sense. Yeah. That makes in any sense. Case. <laughs> in any case. <clears throat> All right. I think we've strayed long enough here, so... Well, let me wrap up the old Stream 7. We're pretty much good to go. Yep. All right. Thanks a lot for joining us. By the way, yesterday, if you didn't get a chance to see, we did three hours on 12 char- 13 characters yeah, uh-huh. in MKX. Super in-depth. It was really fun to do. Uh, I'll have that up on YouTube in the coming days. Yeah. That file is going to be ridiculous it's 10 size. gigs it's 10 gigs and then when i break it up into like five pieces yeah each one of those pieces is going to be like five <laughs> five ten gigs so yeah, yeah it's going to be it's going to be big stuff but no, i'll look wait, for it in the coming days so the, you split the first one apart already right did you put their names in the titles or is it just characters one and characters two characters one and two but the tags have all the oh okay cool, cool. The characters, okay yeah. good stuff good stuff all right cool thank you everybody and uh we will see you next week peace